This is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about nerds business tips, Excel and Evernote, digital scrap paper. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. Hi, Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated talking to you about some of my business tips. I'm getting a little tired of QuickBooks, want to take a break and I thought I'd start sharing a series of videos and blog posts about some of the little things I do to keep track of things, to make my life a little easier. And of course, as you no doubt gathered from the title of this post, I'm talking about in this case at least, Microsoft Excel and Evernote. And a little thing I do, keeping both of them together. See, throughout the day sometimes I might get a call from somebody. And while we're talking, we might kind of scratch out some numbers just to go over some things. And so I'm not formatting anything. I'm not taking much time. I'm just punching numbers in. And <clears throat> sometimes I find that I want to refer back to that. In fact, of course, it seems the minute I close that worksheet without saving it, is usually exactly when I find within minutes I actually need those calculations back and they're gone because I never saved it. So I've learned to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> to save a, an Excel document called scrap paper and, and I keep it in Evernote so that it's easy to find and easy to access. <coughs> so coming into my Evernote inbox here, there's my scrap paper note. I just type a quick search. I leave it there in the inbox at all times. and. Here it is. Now I use this scrap page also to keep track of you know s simple links that I keep track of. This is something I joke around with people a lot on Facebook about my deck. <laughs> um, but here's the. Uh, in fact, I have several scrap pages here that I've created in Excel, and I'll just open one of them, and it'll give you an idea. Looks like this one's blank. <laughs> Let's try another one. Let's go to scrap two. Here it is. So it looks like I was playing around with some numbers. It looks like I was playing around with some hourly rates here. Try and come up. In fact, yeah, this was me playing around coming up with a pricing plan for one of my websites where I was including a whole bunch of uh, private sessions as part of the subscription. What else have I got? Here's a scrap note I did with where I actually dated it. Here I was playing around with some picture dimensions. and I just find it's handy to have this stuff to go back to. So how do you do it? It's pretty easy to, to create something like this. I can show you in case it's not obvious. Basically, I just create a new note. I call it Scrap. Then I'm going to open up a brand new Excel worksheet. And I can start playing around with some numbers in here and say, well, this is 50. I need six of them. Total is 300, right? So I can start saving it and then what I do is I just save it on my desktop first because it's an easy place to find it. Save it and you gotta close it or at least it's generally a good idea to close it. Now I can do my little shake away routine here and then I've got my, I, it, it, it lands on my other monitor when I save it but I just drag it over here and it drops my Excel file in and there it is and next time I need it I can come back in here and double click it. And if I'm not sure where it is, I just come back to Evernote here. I know I keep it in my inbox. And I type scrap in my search box. And there it is. I've got them both. And if I'm done, I can just delete the note. Easy to do. This one, obviously, I don't really need. Here's another example. I keep this handy because then what happens is, and let's say I want to delete all these. And I don't mind deleting them. I know there's nothing in here I really need. But I also kept the URL here of the folder where Evernote keeps the attachments. So I can take that URL and copy it, open up a Windows Explorer folder, paste it in. It's not really a URL, it's a file path. Same idea though. The URL is really just a file path to a file location on the web. And here it takes me to all the uh, Evernote attachments. And I'm looking for the Excel files. Here they are. And I don't actually see scrap. I do not actually see scrap. Maybe it deleted them when I deleted them out of the notes. I guess it's possible. 
So it's gone, but if I had extras here, I can just delete them, and this is where it keeps the attachments. If you're ever not sure how to find that folder on your computer, all you really have to do is find any file, or any note rather, that's got an attachment, like here. Open it up, and then choose, I can't open this up, because as you can see, here's another thing I do, by the way. I have my today note, and this is kind of my list of things I want to do today, of course. It's my to-do list for the day. But I always have some common links that I know I like to have handy. My links to send people if they want to book an appointment with me are all right here. As you can see, I keep my current accounts receivable here because that's something I like to look at often, especially if I have a free moment and I want to go through that and send somebody a reminder that they owe me money. That's a handy thing to have. Another Excel sheet I keep embedded on, on an Evernote note. And I just update this about once a week, sometimes more often if there's a lot of activity. And... Uh, <clears throat> this is where I sort of keep track of you know what I want to accomplish for today as you can see I've got quite a few things left on here that I need to uh, take care of so uh, with that I'm going to bid you farewell as always I hope you find my tips helpful and useful and wonderful please post your comments on the video or on the blog and if you have any questions email them to me and don't forget to visit quickbooksanswers.info if you would like to, in fact, set up a private training session with me where I can teach you how to do this kind of stuff all day, I can teach you QuickBooks, I can teach you Excel, anything that you think I can teach you, especially if you've seen me cover it on YouTube or in my blog, I can teach it to you, and I would be only too happy to. So visit my website at quickbooksanswers.info, and right over there you can actually sign up for some sessions, grab a package of sessions, and uh, then grab an appointment off my calendar. I look forward to seeing you on the web, and I do hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day.